specter of Russian infiltration followed President Trump on his trip to France. He addressed his son's alleged involvement in the conspiracy at a news conference today. Watch. I have a son who is a great young man. He's a fine person. He took a meeting with a lawyer from Russia. Uh, it lasted for a very short period, and nothing came of the meeting. And I think it's a meeting that most people in politics probably would have taken. <coughs> Congressman David Cicilline is a Democrat from the proud yet small state of Rhode Island, and he joins us tonight in studio. Congressman, thanks a lot for coming on. Thanks for having me. So you just heard a former CIA officer, who I think is a Democrat for whatever it's worth, uh, saying, look, you know what, Russia doesn't have our interest at heart, which is obviously true, but let's be real. You can't not deal with Russia, and you can't denounce anyone who seeks to deal with Russia as a quisling, as a traitor to his country. So, like, will you be an adult on this? Of course. Look, I, I, our relationship with many countries, including Russia, is complicated. I agree with... Uh, the the, the uh, person you just had on, Brian, I think. But the reality is the point he made is an important one. It is a complicated relationship, but we need to understand the Russian government interfered in our presidential election. We should be serious about that. We should conduct the ongoing investigations. We should hold them to account. We should sanction them. We should make it clear, don't you ever do this again to America. Look, I mean, like, how honest do we want to be here? No, no, let me like, just how many, is, is Russia the first government to interfere in our election? No, I'm just asking. No, no, I'm we're sure so outraged it's not. By this. We just, should be outraged sure by the time, at the time that any foreign well, government with, interferes I, in presidential amen. elections. I'm with you And there. the reality is, it is very important that the Russians understand, by the way we respond to this interference, that America is not going to allow that. That we hold our democracy to be sacred. We're not going to allow what exactly? It's not going to allow the government to participate in using hacked, stolen emails, putting Russian uh, internet bots uh, onto the internet to promote Russian RT propaganda. This is the conclusion, wait, 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 not of mine. Wait, 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 stop, stop. This no, is no, the no, conclusion no, no. You're a member of, of Congress. four so intelligence agencies and agreed to it by 17. 17. I'm glad you've... No, 17 were agreed to the findings you of You don't war. need to point to bureaucrats to justify your point. No, no, I'm not talking about bureaucrats. These are, these are intelligence professionals. Yeah, they're, they're Let's not service. diminish them. I'm not these are men and women who risk their lives to collect intelligence. You know what? I have a right to question any assumption Absolutely. Of course you do. Whether it's and I have a right to assert officer, right. that I have confidence in our but intelligence But I just, community. I want to get back to your point, because no one ever gets into details on this, because sure. we're busy at 35,000 feet. They hacked the election. They're attacking our democracy. You're not a patriot if you disagree. You said RT is a problem. RT is a cable network. Now, I don't, it's a very left-wing one, by the way. No, no, I don't watch it. But, like, RT is, like, part okay. of the American press corps. Do you think we should ban RT? So what are you there, saying, no, no, exactly? There are, I've had the opportunity, obviously, to have briefings. There have been unclassified documents that have been made available. It is the conclusion of our intelligence agencies, four intelligence agencies, and the agreement of 17 that the Russian government, led by Vladimir Putin, engaged in a very sophisticated effort to undermine the election of Hillary Clinton. I get it, but let's be specific. But, and the specifics I mean, I are, so what, is RT, facilitate, what role does RT, RT play in this? RT promoted propaganda, fake stories that were then retweeted on the internet oh. by a sophisticated thousand so, so, so what's Russian... The point? So what you're saying is that if a news organization puts out stories, no, this you isn't think a news organization. This RT is not a, is a new... RT is Ed a Schultz Russian Larry King propaganda machine. Oh, and so you know should that. it be allowed? It, 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 that's not a question. It should be allowed. Well, what's the, your point? The point is they took, they facilitated the release of stolen emails, a hack into well, the so DNC. Well, so the New York Times. A, a hack into the DNC. Wait, RT released, hacked into the DNC? No, no, they facilitated the release. How? Of, what does that mean? It, the, they facilitated... My news organization ran those no, two. No, excuse me. My, the uh, Russian, criminal too? The intelligence agencies of the Russian government hacked into the DNC, facilitated the release of those through WikiLeaks. They used But what does RT, RT have to do with that? I'm talking about, in, in addition to RT promoting fake news, fake stories oh, that are there. So as a member of Congress, it's your no, job to decide it's not what's a fake, but and we're going to punish it, no, people no, for writing stories you don't like? It is, is our saying? job to protect the integrity of our democracy. And if you're sitting there, Tucker, no, saying, no, no. it's perfectly okay here's, with you here, here's for the what Russian I, government no, that's to not interfere what I, with presidential but, elections. But you know, I disagree with don't, you. Don't demagogue it. I'm not I'm saying not that, and you know I'm not. Well, I'm you, asking you specific questions that you don't want to answer. No, I'm answering you them. You throw out RT as a problem, and I'm asking, in what way is RT a problem, and what should we do about uh, it? Well, there's nothing we can do about it. Oh, they then, can, they, Russian propaganda can exist, but what we can do is protect our democracy from it. And we can How least, can we protect our democracy from RT? We can punish the Russians for what they did. We can impose for sanctions. For having a cable network here. No, no, it's not a cable network. It's Russian propaganda that promotes false information, that gets reposted on the Internet, Shared with what, what role does Larry King play in this? I have no idea. He's like one of the lead anchors there. 
My, is he? No, I'm sorry. No, I don't know about Larry King's show. I'm talking about the efforts by, of RT, which is a well documented Russian propaganda Are there any other news organizations that you think the U.S. Congress and the intelligence agencies ought to fight back against? No, uh, I, what I think we ought to fight back against is foreign governments interfering with okay. our presidential okay, elections. Okay, I guess, the, look, here's the concern. We can't stop here's RT from con existing, but we can punish the Russian government for, for having the audacity RT. to interfere with our elections. Well, name, a story they, that, name a story that ran on RT that you well, think they should be punished about, for running. There was a story about all of the money raised in the Clinton campaign uh, or by the Clinton Foundation is used by the Clintons personally. The Clinton campaign is and funded by the RT? same sources as I said. It was promoted as part of the Russian propaganda. But, and that was wrong? Of course it's wrong. Okay, so you don't like a story in RT, so we need to punish the no, Russian government. No, no, I'm government. not like it. We have to understand, okay, we okay. are against fighting so you against can a very why. sophisticated... Right, no, I get all the well, adjectives, but no, I just no, want to get to the core allegations. This is Russian intelligence service trying to under... Right, by the okay. way, it's not just here. They did it in France. They tried to do it in Germany. It they are trying to destabilize right. okay, Western democracy around the world. You're getting world. louder and broader. No, I'm trying to get you to get quieter and more precise. Because it's important. Okay, I, I know it's important, and because it is, I, I want specific answers. So, but let me just ask you an overview question, since that's where you want to go. Even if everything you say is right, I wonder if it speaks to the suffering of the people you represent in Providence. And there have been some Democrats, wise ones, in Soto Voce voices, saying, you know what? We're not going to win elections on this because it doesn't speak to the needs of ordinary people. Absolutely. We're spending all of our time on Tucker, this. Tucker, you a you asked me to be on the show to talk about this because it's, it's helpful to your viewing audience. This helps you. I'd like to no, talk about. I don't about, think it actually is. No, helpful I'd to like my to talk audience. about. I think they're pretty sick in America. Russia. I know I am. I'd like to talk about the fact that we haven't done an infrastructure bill. I'd like to talk about passing my legislation to make college more affordable. So then, why is Nancy Pelosi out there hammering the Russia question? Why is Maxine Waters calling the Republicans Look, unpatriotic? You asked me about what, what I think. I think it is well, it's a your tragedy. Caucus, it's your leader. But you're, I'm responsible for my own conduct and I continue to say that we should be focused on the issues that matter to Rhode Islanders. That's creating good paying jobs, good. repairing our infrastructure, making college more affordable, securing the future of, of Medicare and Social Security. That's what we should be talking good. about. The, well, real, the real tragedy you of... you can't help yourself because Donald Trump Jr. You don't, want to, talk, you don't want to invite me on this <laughs> show to talk about those things because you uh, want to talk about Russia because it's salacious and people watch your show. Actually, I, don't think, I think people are sick so, of it. I wish so I could So have me on and talk about some of my legislation. I guess I'm just too shallow, Congressman. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us.